Yeah. Goldman Sachs says the economy will accelerate again next year. JP Morgan says the S&P will go up 8% next year. Former Reagan economist Art Laffo with us now. First of all, deal with the economy. How bullish are you? What rate of growth do we get for the economy next year? You know, I think we're growing at the right rate. Two and a half, three percent would be great for next year. I think that's really reasonable and can be done. And you're coming up on the cusp of your 10th anniversary. I mean, look at the record you've had, Stuart. You've been right from the trough you started, and now you've created this huge prosperity. And by the way, I've been with you all the way, Me? too, all that time. <laughs> no, no, come on. Yes, you have. Yes. And we thank you for that. Okay, so you, okay, two and a half, three percent, two and a half, three percent growth for the economy next year. That's strong. How about J.P. Morgan saying the S&P will be up eight percent? The market rallies again next year. Are you, are you with that? You know, I'm, I'm, much less, I'm much less confident on my forecast of stock prices than I am of the GDP. But, yeah, I think 8% is reasonable. I think the stock market has been up so much since Trump took office. And, you know, when you look at the history of all of this, Stuart, it's so nice to look at it in retrospect because you have none of the uncertainties of living a day-to-day, hour-by-hour, you know. But looking at this economy from the future perspective, I think this will be seen. The Trump era will be seen as one of the greatest periods of prosperity in U.S. history, including the stock market, including real GDP growth, including employment, including the drop in the unemployment rate, including all of these wonderful things that have been happening. And, you know, when you're at the end of a boom, when you've been in a boom for five years, it's much harder to squeeze out higher growth rates than it is right at the right at the yeah. trough, you know, yeah. which Obama got in there in 2009. But it, it, Trump is doing an amazing job of continuing this prosperity. It's really difficult to do. Right. We've got USMCA on the table. Here it comes. Can you quantify yep. how good it is for America's economy? I think USMCA is good for the American economy. I don't think it's going to be a huge like percentage changer, but I think USMCA sets the table for the deal with China, for the deal with Japan, South Korea, Europe, and then if Boris Johnson, I mean Boris Johnson wins in England, if that happens, then we could have a really free trade agreement with England and that would be absolutely spectacular. That would really move the needle. All of those combined would move the needle a great deal. Wow. China, as I've said on this show, I think a number of times, three, four thousand points on the Dow. Wow. OK. Yeah. Well, I, I'm glad you're with us in the first 20 minutes of the show today, because that's a really very positive outlook. And we just love it. Art Laffer, thanks for being with us all these years. Don't be a stranger in the future. OK. I won't be. I'm here for you every day if you want me. You're oh, a good man. <laughs> thanks, Art. Have, have a good have a good day. I will.